<laughs> right, hello fellow engineers. We're back in Engetopia. And uh, we finished last time with a... Uh, I think we needed like a school. Yeah, because I think our workers aren't educated enough. So what I'm going to do, we're going to... Somewhere in this residential area, we're going to bung some schools in. So we got elementary school, then a high school, and a library. All right, so I'm going to start with a elementary school. Oh, it's not a very big catchment, is it? Right, so I've put that in there. Looks like one was fine for our capacity. We're gonna need a high school, but ain't got enough money. How much do I need? So we'll need 24 grand. I've got 18 at the moment, but we're making two grand every week. So we should be able to afford that soon. Right, in the meantime, I've noticed people want a bit of shopping, I guess. So I think we'll just extend and we'll color these in. We'll just go all the way around, I think. And maybe on the corners. I think we can make these shops as well. See, I was thinking as well, we should probably... So obviously everyone's coming into our city from the motorway. And that's fine. But then it's a one-way loop all the way around. I should think, and just to save sort of these roads getting too clogged up, say someone makes a mistake, I might just link these two, just so that there's a way back in. So if anyone wants to try and use these first few shops, they actually have to go all the way around, all the way around the motorway. You can't even turn around on that motorway. So how would they do it? So they'd drive out here, probably go over. Yeah, so that would be long gone before they can turn around. So what I might do. Oh, actually, I've just noticed this. We can afford a high school. So let's go put that in. All right, so we've got high school in there, sorted. Now we should get some education and we should be able to fill up those jobs. Right, back to sorting this out. So we haven't really unlocked any other roads. Oh, actually, what's that? All right, so I was thinking, this is a two lane single. So what we'll do then, we'll have a sort of, oh, maybe we can have an off slip, just a little one way. I can't do just a little one way track, can I? All right, so there you go. So now as people come down here, they have the opportunity, should they wish, to go up here and then left turn out of there. And then they can, if they want, use these shops. So that's good. It'll just save people going all the way for miles and miles trying to turn around. There's a lot of traffic coming in here right now, actually. Oh, bloody hell, did you see that? <laughs> that's a bit of carnage. I'm wondering, I might just... So I'm not a fan of crossroads. They are dangerous things. So I might just delete that and just connect it up there. Right, and so last time we had these two buildings that we noticed we burnt down. We can't just leave them according to this little notice. We've got to use our bulldozer and clear them up. So that should make space now. Of course, it's very industrial over here, isn't it? Here's a fire engine. Where's he going? Whoa, it's on fire! Go on guys, put it out. Boy, we just went straight in. Good work. <laughs> nice. Right, so just having a look at the old electricity. We might have to build another another turbine. Just because we're a bit low there. And how's water? Water's fine still. So just bung another turbine. In there. I might as well do another one while I'm here. Just to save me doing it later. Right, so that should be plenty. Oh my god, look at that sewage. That is gross. Look how brown it is. Imagine all the poo along that beach. <laughs> right, so we might have to try and fix that somehow. At some point. Right, so we don't have any healthcare at the moment. So I'm going to build a hospital just in here. So there you go. Now all the ambulances are going. Blimey, we must. Oh my god, they must have been in demand. Look at them! <laughs> Never ending. Right, so that should make our citizens a bit healthier and a bit happier. Right, so we've nearly filled this up in terms of living space. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to expand. I'm going to... I think I might fill in this area for now. And then what I might do, I might sort of... I might start working down this way. Just to sort of... so I can get rid of these pylons eventually. So, I might put a junction 
sort of down here, see? So I brought this road, I sort of kind of made it a bit more natural looking, a bit windier. I brought the road all the way to these wind turbines. And what I'm going to do is once people start building their houses, I will delete these pylons, which would be nice. And I think I might just connect up this. So obviously when we site junctions in real life, one of the most important things is uh, like the visibility. For example, putting a junction like say there on the inside of a bend is like horrible. Because say you want to pull out the junction, you like, you look left, you look right. And if you're on the inside of a bend, you can't really see. Ideally you want to be like on a straight or maybe... That's quite a good spot. So you can see where I've located this now. We're sort of on the outside of a bend. Basically if you're driving out of here, you get to the giveaway line and then you look right. And obviously on the outside of a bend you can see really far. And then to our left, obviously not the greatest visibility there. And that guy didn't look anyway, he just drove straight out. So designing these in real life, the whole visibility thing, you sort of, depending on the speed of the road, to say this is like a 30 mile an hour road, so you'd have a design table and for each speed you'd have like a distance. And basically that distance is how far that person can see without their visibility being impacted. Let's say we're going from this junction and say it's a 30 mile an hour road. I'm just completely making up these numbers, but say it's like 80 meters is your visibility display. So what you do, you'd have a distance set back, sort of in the middle. So it's kind of where the driver sits when they're st stuck waiting there. And you'd draw your 80 meters and you'd have to intercept like where a car would be in the road. So for us it would be there, straight line. And obviously you can see there's nothing in the way. Maybe a bit of grass there, so what you'd do, you'd highlight no planting to happen there, like no, no bushes or buildings or anything. Say we're looking this way, say it was a bit further, say this was a fast road, it was 60 mile an hour. So a visibility display would go from here, and it might be, say 60 meters, could be all the way over here. So everything above my line that I'm drawing, to all this area, you'd have to get rid of all the planting, like you wouldn't be allowed trees in there, you wouldn't be allowed bushes, anything like that, because it could block the visibility. So someone that's stuck here and they look left, if there's suddenly a big old tree there, they're not going to be able to see. So when you place junctions, realistically, that's what you want to look for. You want to try and put them somewhere where they they can see both directions. Because that's how we do it in real life. Alright, and with that in mind, I am going to bung another junction in from there. Alright, so with this area, I'm just gonna I'm gonna keep this as like the main entrance in this road, Kent Street currently. I'm gonna add a few more sort of like coldy sacks, I guess. So we'll just do that sort of thing every now and again. Alright, and so housing is really, really in demand at the moment. So I'm just gonna start painting all these up. Now I'm sure I am sure there is a way to paint all these or something. And you, I probably was told about it in the last episode as well. But unfortunately I'm recording this before that video went live. So if you have told me, sorry, I will learn how to do this at some point. I'm not ignoring you, it's just because I record well in advance of my videos going live. Alright, so before too many people buy that, I'm just going to hit pause. Because I need to do the water for down here. So we're going to do as we did before, keep it realistic. So we'll go under the road. I wish there wasn't a snap. I wish I could do a bit of a better angle. Right, so I am wondering, should I be digging up this pipe? This was our main pipe, but it's sort of the main route. So I don't really want to touch it. Right, so I think that's done for now. We'll just hit play and that should all connect up nicely. There you go, things are moving now. Sweet, okay. Electricity they have, so I still need the pylons. I could get rid of... Oh no, I've just sabotaged, shit, shit. I still need those pylons. I can get rid of those up to there. I mean, once I build this road, it should be sorted. All right, and again, before people build too much, I'm gonna 
get one step ahead in that I'm gonna get the schools in. So, so I think an elementary school might be quite nice sort of in the middle, maybe there. And then a high school, maybe a bit further away, maybe sort of on this main stretch. All right, and then while I'm down here, I will just add a few shops, just sort of like to tie it into this industrial. So this is predominantly residential area. I kind of want this to be like my upmarket where the posh people live, although it is right by the old wind turbines, which isn't great. Then they wouldn't get a sea view anyway, because there's mountains there, so not the end of the world. Right, so you can see now the cars are flooding in. They're excited to see the new areas and I'm guessing they're all the residents moving in. So that's cool. I am wondering too, is there a way of sort of adding footpaths? Not that I can see. There seems to be roads, but no footpaths. So maybe we'll come to that. Ooh, so we got parks. So I hadn't seen these. So well, they all seem to do different stuff. So I might put a park there. That would be right behind, maybe down there. Yeah, so I'm going to put a park there, sort of. So that's more for sort of these people. What I'll do, I might build around that as well. Got some houses back onto the park. That's quite nice. All right, so this orb area, I'm going to paint it as a district. And as it was my first sort of area, I'm going to name it after my first engineer tiered Patreon. Right, so this is going to be Teo Heights. Right, gonna... Ooh, we're a boom town. Oh, so this is cool. Now we've got, we can purchase new areas. Oh, we got some big roads. This is awesome. I'm getting excited now. Got bus stuff, childcare. Oh, I got some recycling. Okay, this is cool. This is really cool. Oh, so I've just been told we need more power. So, oh yeah, we're a bit low. Let's just check our budget. Is there anything we can do for the power? Power's sort of in the middle. I think we will just build some more turbines. Oh, and we do have these new ones now. Oh, so these can go on water, but they cost twice as much. Ooh, they do produce a lot more though. So I'll tell you what, I might just do that. All right, so we've got plenty of electricity now. The water's a bit low. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna up the budget because that was low. I'm just gonna go straight back up to 100. Ish. And what I could do eventually, I could actually get rid of these wind turbines just to make it a lot nicer for these people. Because that's got to be annoying. <laughs> Imagine the shadow of that just cast over your house. <laughs> Every few seconds of bloody shade coming through your window. <laughs> so yeah, what I might do, I might get rid of these turbines and swap them with these. Because then we got a nice little wall. That should bund like the sound and stuff. And the visuals. So that'll be nice. And let's have a look at the electricity. Okay, so I can get rid of... Oh no, not those pylons. Sorry everyone. Yep, electricity is coming back on now. Teo Heights. Sorry about that. <laughs> right, so these people need some water. So I'm going to take this down this road. Alright, so that should be sorted. I do really need to build between these just to sort of get the electricity flowing. So I might just do a road, normal road. And I will as well. I will add a little bit of a, a, a cul-de-sac in there at some point. All right, so let's see about getting a park for this area. So the parks are in there. Is there a little small one? Small park. Oh, bloody hell, that's quite big. Maybe we can add that here and then build around it. Yeah, I think I'll add that there. Sweet, so that covers most of those people. And then what I can do, I can build around that park with our coldy sack. We can keep going. Oh, you guys have no water. All right, sorted. So we do need some more industry. So I'm gonna keep the industry going up here. I'm sort of just building this away from everyone else. All right, so let's build from there. And we'll sort of head back this way. All right, so let's just paint these in for now. And I will add some stuff in the middle there at some point. I just figured whilst we're a bit low, we'll wang these up. Actually, I'll do that now. I'll build a little T-junction there. 
There you go. And we just filled that in. Alright, so again, we need water up here. So, go up that road. Go up that road. And go along there as well. Alright, so that should just be building away nicely. How's this area looking? It looks a bit barren. Are there... Oh yeah, still lots of plots for people to buy. Alright, so I'm sort of saving these areas. They're quite big, but I want to make them a bit more office-y. I know at some point we unlock, yeah, commercial zones and office zones. So I'm probably going to save that just because I want the offices to be fairly close to where people live. Otherwise, I'll be traveling for ages. Alright, so it might be time to build a library. Because we haven't got one yet. Oh my god, this is huge. Hmm, where would be the best spot for this? I'm going to bung the library here, because then it's sort of in the middle of the two. 22 grand though, damn. Alright, so I think that covered quite a lot of people. It's a bit close to the old commercial. Oh god, that lorry's doing the old quick turn around again. <laughs> they turn on a spot, they do. Oh, big bite. I will be heading there after this, because I am starving. Oh look, there's an advert for big bite. Oh, that's quite a good burger, that. Is that a triple, or just a double? It's crunch time! <laughs> I do not want my burgers to be crunchy. That's a bit weird. What's going on here? Someone died from noise. I think he died from noise. I don't know if you saw those headphone things. Oh look, what's going on up here? They need workers. Why are there not enough workers? Do you think they can't get there? I am going to look at installing buses next time, I think. Because people seem to be struggling to get to work. I don't know if they're just lazy. Oh no, cemetery needed. Ooh, better do that. I didn't even realise I had those yet. Right, so dead people, where are they gonna go? I honestly think maybe they should go in here. So dead people are sorted. Children. You can put that next to the library. Don't see why not. Right, so we've got childcare now, so hopefully that might help people get to work as well. Maybe their kids sort of were stopping them going back to work. Dunno, clutching at straws, but people, we need people to work and there's no one working. So we we'll have to fix that somehow. Oh my god, everyone's dying from, are they dying from noise pollution? Is it really that loud? Okay, so I might have to reconsider this area. <laughs> yeah, so this is meant to be my sort of posh area. That doesn't seem to be the case. Because <laughs> everyone's just dying. Oh my god, look at that poo! That is disgusting. There's something under the water there. Can you see that? That thing. Is that a boat? That's a boat that's sunk. It looks like a big old boat. That's cool. I didn't realise there was that. Oh my god. How far does this poo spread? Oh my god, it goes well down there. Okay, we might need to try and find a way to fix that. Because that is gross. I've brought shame on this city. <laughs> But yeah, so hope you enjoyed the episode, guys. We have our newly named Teo Heights, which is my starter sort of residential place. I quite like it. It's a bit, it's a bit straight, I guess. Hence why our new one, we've gone a bit curvy. So hopefully next time we'll be naming this area, and I'll be picking one of the Patreon names for that. But yeah, thanks, guys. Really enjoying this episode. And again, let me know below if you have any suggestions. I think as well, I should probably sort of try out some mods and see what they can do. But I think that's for another day. But yeah. Oh, look at our park. But yeah, nice one guys. Peace, love and bridges. I'll catch you next time. Bye. <laughs>